crack at Paddy's Day. I'm out of motocross gear and in the green gear. I've got one message for you. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. My doubt you are all drunk by now. Uh, maybe you're catching this tomorrow with a fuzzy head. But my message is this. Over the last couple of weeks, we've seen traditional banks fail. Uh, a lot of them. We've seen a massive stimulus bill in the hundreds of billions to bail them out. Now that affects all the deposits you have in your bank account. It affects all the money you have that you went and worked for and accumulated. It dilutes its value. It reduces its purchasing power. Okay? And while all that stuff's been happening, okay, Bitcoin has been on an absolute tear because one by one the world's figuring out that you can't print Bitcoin. Okay? It's the only thing on the planet that's scarce. Everything else we can make more of. We can make more property, we can mine more gold, we, we can print more euros. You cannot print Bitcoin. And that's why we're seeing a flood into this asset. That's why Bitcoin has rallied 50%, okay, in two weeks. Don't wait until the herd figures this out. Get your fiat insurance. It's a Ponzi scheme. The reason I've been telling you is that Bitcoin is going to go up is because I'll share it. Go and check my Instagram. Okay, I'm going to share a graph, and it was as we stopped printing money, the price of Bitcoin came down. The problem is, it's a Ponzi scheme, which means you have to always print money, all right? And the banking system started to break. Literally, the American banking system nearly fell apart. They'd done emergency meetings last weekend, okay, to come put a bailout structure to bail everybody out, okay? So it's a Ponzi scheme. You must print money. And that's why it's inev inevitable, predictable, and guaranteed, okay? that we will print more money, it will devalue everything you have in your account and you need to own something scarce that can't be printed. Okay? When the whole world figures this out, Bitcoin's going to be worth six figures and then seven figures. I'm not saying to buy Bitcoin, okay, because I don't give you financial advice here. You can book in with me if you want to talk one to one about your individual situation, but I am telling you that the best thing I ever done was to understand Bitcoin because it teaches you about money, okay, and it makes the whole world very clear. It teaches you about technology teach about human incentives, teach about computer science, but by understanding Bitcoin, you will be able to position yourself to protect yourself in the future. Not only to protect the wealth that you have, but also to generate a lot more wealth when the whole world starts to figure this out, okay? And Bitcoin becomes very scarce, and they're offering to buy it off you for a hell of a lot of money. So, that's all i got to say, guys. Have a really great St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having fun. I'm actually missing the crack back home. I'm just here uh, in my green trousers and they're uh, waiting on the lads to come down. We're going to go out for a bit of a meal and a bit of crack. So looking forward to getting back to Ireland. Looking forward to having a pint. Hope everyone had a great day today. And uh, do your homework on Bitcoin. It was the best thing I ever done. I encourage everyone to do that and share this message with as many people as you can because the bankers aren't going to be affected. They're not going to be the ones who lose their homes. Okay? But it is going to be the regular people, the people who built this country, the people who run this country. They're the ones who are going to be greatly hurt by everything that's happening that these central bankers are doing. Guys, happy Paddy's Day. Keep it positive. Bitcoin is your insurance. Bitcoin is hope for your future. And the best thing you can do with your time is to understand it. Vinny out.